Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Um, let me adjust the camera a little bit. Okay, so this video is very exciting. I'm actually going to be sniffing some samples of vintage perfume. This is sent to me by Kay from Kay Loves Perfume. Um, guys, if you don't know her, if you are curious about vintages, if you love vintages, you should go check her channel. She's like really sweet and very good at describing fragrances and she's into vintages. She collects all vintages that I can think of. She's nice, she's really sweet. She plays games with her mother-in-law, I think, Nancy. And she's just so adorable. I really, really love her. You guys should check her out, subscribe to her channel. Like I said, if you want to explore vintages, go check her out. Some vintages, I think, varies in prices. Um, they're more potent. Some of them are way more affordable and they're really good in terms of performance. They use as natural. Um, yeah, so if that's your thing, to be honest, I am not into vintages. This is going to be the first time me smelling vintages. I might be a convert after this, I'm not sure. <laughs> so if you are new here if you have if you're not subscribed to my channel if you like this kind of content please consider to subscribe i post two times a week at least um at random times for sure saturday and one other day for random anyway so without further ado let's get started okay so she sent me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten vintages <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. She has lab label. Ooh, okay, so I see cashmere. I want to check this out. A lot of people love it. Um, it's talked about. So I'm super curious about this one, you guys. Actually, let me grab a container for the scent that I already tested. That way I have a Okay, so good thing I have my daughter's little container. <laughs> uh, all right, so she said spray it on a paper, but I am not gonna waste uh, the vintages juice. So I wanna try it on my skin. The worst case, I'm gonna scrub it off. I don't know if I have a lot of real estate, so maybe the scary one, I'll spray it on the paper, but otherwise, I'm just gonna wing it. So the first one, this is Chopard Kashmir. A lot of review on on youtube about this i know that Ma maria colette has it um it's mj likes it um let's see it's not bad it smells like like a pudding it's a little bit of a dusty feel i think this is one of the perfume that you have to use a lot for you to be able to smell it Right on my skin, the opening feels like a toothpaste a little bit, and it has this like an apricot pudding. Yeah, it's airy, it's soft, it's gentle, but it has this like powder dust on top of it. It's a like for me, it's not a love, but certainly if it's if I happen to own it, I probably will use it. You know, I think this is going to be one of the perfume that. There'll be an easy reach and you'll be using it a lot. So that one's not bad. That's a um, Kashmir show part. Okay. <laughs> so the next one. Ooh, okay. So she really likes Calvin Klein Obsession. She mentioned that a lot. So I really want to try this. Ooh. <laughs> This thing is really strong. It's not bad. It's very different than my perfume, the profile that I'm generally likes. So I have no clue what the notes are in all of this perfume that they send me. I actually didn't do research. Um, <laughs> so this is gonna be a first impression kind of thing. See if I like it enough to pick up a full bottle. I don't have vintages in my collection. I really wanna try it. And maybe pick up a full bottle. Okay. 
It smells really woody. It smells like a like a wooden cabinet. Okay, so back to the Casimir Chow part. It's actually pretty nice. So it actually gets sweeter and sweeter. This is really nice, you guys. I actually do like the Casimir Chow part. It smells, still smells like minty with the apricot pudding. I mean, it gets sweeter, but it's like the scent profile. It's kind of fleeting. As soon as I smell it, it doesn't really stay. But anyway. So back to obsession. I don't know. I don't like this one. I'm sorry. Um, this one's really woody. It's a little bit uh, masculine side. Spicy, I think. I don't know. This one smells like my wooden cabinet drawer. So it's like an old wooden medicine drawer and inside it there's like fixed paper up and then ginseng and herbal things combined all together. I mean it's interesting that it, the scent keep changing. Um, I don't know, I have to get back to you but this one is a no, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so I see red Giorgio Buffurly Hills. Ooh, taboo. I saw a video from out 110, 110, yeah, 110. He said that a taboo is a scent that was created for prostitute back in the long time ago. So I'm super curious about it. Ooh, I kind of spray a lot. I'm gonna smell like a French prostitute. Oh, it's not bad. Wow, I actually do like this. Maybe I like to be pressed too. <laughs> it's not bad. I actually like it. Wow, I actually like taboo. I like it. It smells like chocolate. Wow, I actually do like it. What is this made of? What is this thing? I actually like it. I like taboo. Wow. Guys, I'm turning to vintage. Well, it's getting rougher. This actually smells quite familiar. So when I was a kid, I used to go to like a night market because I was I grew up in Indonesia, um, and that night market, there's always this ladies that's behind the counter, and then she always has this like this weird medicinal scent on her. I thought it's just that the store smells funky, but turns out it is the smell of this perfume. It doesn't smell like perfume. It actually smells like a Chinese store. Oh shit, it smells like a Chinese med medicine store. Like if you go buy ginseng, you go to the store. That's what it smells like. Maybe not at the ginseng section, but it's one of those herbal store. That's what it smells like to me. So we'll get back to it because I think vintage is supposed to go further. <sighs> okay. Hey guys, obsessions changing. Okay, this is really hard. This kind of video is really hard to me because vintage just changes so much that I have to remember. I actually do like obsession a lot. The dry down is so beautiful. 
That's like a woody vanilla. Wow, it's good. Okay, so she also sent me Reflon Fire and Ice. So I'm gonna try to spray that and see if I like it. Okay, so this one's pretty nice. It smells quite alcoholic in the first spray. It has that like airiness, softness, like vanilla for sure. Yeah, it's actually really nice. I could smell, I don't know what it is. It smells like something fruity, but with a lot of vanilla and like vanilla and pear, I think that's what it smells like. A little bit of aldehyde, I think. It's actually pretty similar to Cosmere Chopper. Pretty fluffy. I mean, I'm not crazy about it. I do like it. These two are not repulsive at all. Chopard Casimir and Reflon and Ice, they're easy, soft, blind buy. Obsession is also really nice. Taboo is kind of weird. I guess it's okay. It's not bad. Turns out I don't hate vintages. Um, let's see. I'm gonna try red. Giorgio Beverly Hills Red by Giorgio Beverly Hills. I'm gonna spray directly to my skin I don't know what it is It feels like it's pretty consistent in all of this vintages except Reflon Fire and Ice and Casimir Chopper, but Red Giorgio Beverly Hills there's an aldehyde or something. It's something very sharp. So it smells like toothpaste, but with aldehydes. Is that what it is? smells like red Giorgio Beverly Hills. It smells like toothpaste. Yeah, okay, I don't like this one at all. It, the scent itself is actually pretty soft, um, but there's this sharpness, like, chemical sharpness. I don't know what it is. It's like the thing that I don't like in Zodiac Voltaire. This is her, except that is for sandalwood. And this is like soapy and sharp. I don't know what it is. There's some sharp soapiness that's like gives me migraine right away. So I absolutely hate red Georgia Beverly Hills. It's so horrible. Oh, I already know I'm gonna hate this. This is white shoulder. Uh, this is like loud. Yeah, it's like extremely soapy lilac. This smells like lilac love, to be honest. If you want to try what lilac love smells like, literally just buy white shoulder and then save your money. The difference is lilac love has a, a little bit of cocoa powder, but the cocoa powder in lilac love is not adding that much of a sweetness it's actually quite a unsweetened cocoa powder um, yeah don't waste your money if you are interested in lilac love um, if you want to know what it smells like just get white shoulder this is actually not bad but the soapiness is quite loud it's the same soapiness in uh, red Giorgio Beverly Hill so those two are a no-no for me like, taboo is so interesting. All right, so moving on. Next, I'm gonna try Gloria Fenderbilt. So Gloria Fenderbilt smells similar to Reflon Fire and Ice to me. It's not bad. It's one of those like soft, but this one's also turning soapy. So I also don't like this one, you guys. I'm not a big fan of soapy scent. This one's not bad. It's like Reflon Fire and Ice, but add soapiness to it. But the soapiness is not as bad as the Giorgio Beverly Hills Red. That one's so bad. Um, oh God, no, the soapiness. Oh, it's it's turning. So Gloria Fenderbilt opening similar to Reflon Fire and Ice. And as it dries down, it's going towards that um, Giorgio Red Beverly Hills. So very soapy, but it also have that 
fluffiness or like pudding texture off the um, cashmere choke part. So it's not too bad, but if you don't like soapiness, it's... don't even try that. Um... All right, so two more. I'm getting stressed out. <laughs> uh this is passion i have no idea what this one comes from the juice color is purple i don't know guys i'm really scared it's still a little bit alcoholy oh no Oh, this smells the same as red to me. It's like sharp and soapy. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Kay. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, not for me. It's not bad, but... Yeah, they smell pretty similar. Okay, so the next one is... ball or for sales so let's see if I like this one you guys I'm just gonna spray it on my finger still smell alcoholy I can't really smell a thing it's actually not bad I thought I'll be hate I'll be hating this one I can't smell it what's wrong I can't smell anything it's like I don't smell it. Bala for sales. I can't smell a thing. It's starting to turn to be like red Georgia. Yeah, it's the same soapy vintages, which I'm not into. All right, so one more, the last one, Youth Do. So you said that this is beautiful, but make sure to disperse evenly on the hand, on your body, otherwise, because it's like deadly or something. So I'm just gonna spray it on my finger, my right hand, and then see if I like it. This is kind of scary, you guys. I'm not, not excited about this. And this is not bad. This actually smells like... Yeah, you too is not bad. I thought I hate it, but no, I like it actually. I have a headache, to be honest. I think the headache comes from those sharp, slout, soapy, floral. That's a lot in common. Yeah, I don't like you do. Okay, guys. Um, so let me recap. The one that's nice that I quite enjoy is Kasmir Chopard. Reflon Fire and Ice. This one has a little bit of a lipsticky vibe. Yeah, a little bit of cherry lipsticky. Do enjoy those two the most. Calvin Klein Obsession. My mom herbal medicine cabinet that's made of wood. It's not bad, but I won't own it. Um, yeah, it's taboo. Actually, I do quite like it. This one's not bad. This is like the third of my favorite. This might be the one that's worth owning a full bottle just because it's so different. I think I'll enjoy this. This might be one that I consider picking up a full bottle. Yeah, I actually do like Taboo a lot. Maybe I like the scent of a French prostitute. <laughs> Okay, 
the one that I absolutely don't like um, is Red Giorgio Beverly Hills. This one smells like really, it smells like a, if you smell the soap, like a powdered laundry soap, like the cheap one. If you breathe in that, it has that strong, soapy, sharp sharpness that goes to your nose and hits your nose. I absolutely don't like this one. Passion. Oh, you do is so bad. It smells animalic. It smells like poop a little bit. I don't know what it is. I mean, the sillage is not bad, but if you smell it from the source, it smells really herbally, like... Yeah, there's something animalic in here. I really don't like this one, you guys. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, my God, no. Gloria Fenderbilt. This one's nice, but uh, dry down, get soapy. It's going towards the Red Giorgio Beverly Hills. Um, passions, the same way. Balsas for sales. It's the same way. And white shoulder. It smells like lilac love. So this are no go for me, guys. Unfortunately, Kay, I'm sorry. Thank you so much for sending me your vintage. I really don't like them, except three. The one that I like the most that's interesting is Taboo. This one I do enjoy. The second one is Chopard Kashmir and Reflon Fire and Eye. So these three are the win. Um, now that I made this video of first impression, I am going to try to wear this. But for sure, the rest are a no-go for me. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.